Serious what are some of the creepiest declassified documents made available to the public? Operation Northwoods. Proposed false flag attacks against American civilians slash targets carried out by the CIA and blamed on Cuba in 1962. Thankfully JFK said fuck no and shut that shit down. Operation Lack Biological Warfare Testing Done on US Cities. Principally, the operation involved spraying large areas with zinc cadmium sulfide which is very toxic. Many who were affected died of cancer and the testing was never followed up on. Most of the neighborhood's genetic macup was fucked up for no reason, and no apologies were made. Ted Kaczynski, the Anna Bomber, was subjected to growing degrading psychological experiments while he was an underage student at Harvard. Anything involving Japan's Unit 731 during WWII. It was a military chemical and biological warfare division that experimented on POWs. Project Pluto is pretty horrific. The proposed use for nuclear power dram jets would be to power a cruise missile, called SLAM, for supersonic low altitude missile. In order to reach ramjet speed, it would be launched from the ground by a cluster of conventional rocket boosters. Once it reached cruising altitude and was far away from populated areas, the nuclear reactor would be made critical. Since nuclear power gave it almost unlimited range, the missile could cruise in circles over the ocean until ordered down to the deck for its supersonic dash to targets in the Soviet Union. The SLAM, as proposed, would carry a payload of many nuclear weapons to be dropped on multiple targets, making the cruise missile into an unmanned bomber. After delivering all its warheads, the missile could then spend weeks flying over populated areas at low altitudes, causing tremendous ground damage with its shock wave and fallout. When it finally lost enough power to fly and crash landed, the engine would have a good chance of spewing deadly radiation for months to come. I think there was a lot of creepy things that came out when the East German Stasi files were released after the Berlin Wall fell. All citizens were allowed to view their own files and many were shocked to find out that their own relatives were informing on them because they had no choice and various other things. A good movie about this is called Other People's Lives. The JFK assassination documents never fully being released as they keep getting pushed back. The documents themselves are creepy in the sense of how contradicting they are. But what makes it truly creepy is the full release keeps getting pushed back. I don't know that it was classified, but the audio tape recorded by the Toy Box killer was leaked. David Ray was a US serial killer who tortured, sexually assaulted, and murdered women with electric generators, surgical blades, saws, syringes, etc. He mounted a mirror to the ceiling, so they had to watch. He had a recorded audio tape that he would play for victims once they regained consciousness for the first time. The transcript is here. The toolbox killers are a separate pair of serial killers who similarly raped, tortured, and killed women. They also made tape recordings of their crimes. Shirley Ledford's tape is the most well-known one, you can hear them telling her to scream, the killers breaking her elbow with a sledgehammer, and her asking to die near the end. During the trial the killers claimed it was roller playing, and only evidence of a threesome. Shirley's mother had to identify her daughter's voice on the tape. The full tape was not released, but the transcript was. Not really a document, but a case that the Soviet Union tried to hide for a while, the Nozino affair. Here is part of a Rai witness reported about it. They were trying to escape. They asked us where's a railway? We'd never seen a railway. They asked where's Moscow? Leningrad? They were asking the wrong people. We'd never heard of those places. We're Ostilax. People were running away starving. They were given a handful of flour. They mixed it with water and drank it, and then they immediately got diarrhea. The things we saw. People were dying everywhere. They were killing each other. On the island there was a guard named Kostya Venikov, a young fellow. He fell in love with a girl who had been sent there, and was courting her. He protected her. One day he had to be away for a while, and he told one of his comrades, take care of her, but with all the people there the comrade couldn't do much really. People caught the girl, tied her to a poplar tree, cut off her breasts, her muscles, everything they could eat, everything, everything. They were hungry, they had to eat. When Kostya came back, she was still alive. He tried to save her, but she had lost too much blood. 
Paradise Papers. Everyone disregards them, but they pretty much call out every single top 0.00001% wealth and super high power elites in the world for being involved with terrorists, child trafficking, money laundering, you name it. If you haven't given them a read, some of your favorite politicians may surprise you. Edit guys these people the papers mention are not the ones committing acts such as terrorism and trafficking. However, if you go and read them, they strongly link the organizations these people place their money in slash launder their money through to organizations that have links to these crimes. This FBI investigation file titled Animal Mutilation. Back in the 1970s 80s, the media's attention was drawn to some anomalies taking place not only on American cattle farms, but all over the world. Cow corpses were being discovered in fields, missing organs, with surgical holes in their sides, with no blood. For a brief time, this was passed off as a strange coincidence. But eventually, the public got so worked up that the FBI commissioned an investigation. Six months and $45,000 later, they found nothing. Nothing. No trace of a person, machine, alien, anything. Everyone was left hanging, but strangely, it died down. The reports of animal mutilations have simply stacked up to since then, and to this day there have been excess of 10,000. COINTELPRO. Basically the FBI's attempt to infiltrate and disrupt any political organization they deemed dangerous to society in the mid-20th century. They targeted MLK, the civil rights movement, the black power movement, the socialist party, communist party, Ku Klux Klan, Vietnam protesters, etc. It's also pretty common knowledge that the FBI murdered several key leaders of the black power and civil rights movement during this time. It may or may not be documented, but is still creepy knowing this. Back during the Cuban Missile Crisis, a US Navy ship was sending depth charges towards a hidden Soviet submarine. The men in the submarine thought war had broken out, and a vote was held whether or not they should take down the ship with a nuclear torpedo to captain's need to approve in order for the attack to happen. Both captains had approved. But a third man, Vasily Arkhipov was given a vote as well. He voted no on the attack. Since the vote had to be unanimous, the attack was off the table. Creepy as fuck, when you realize how much power men have to be able to destroy the world. In 2018, cables between the US Embassy in Jakarta and the State Department were declassified that casually tracked the massacres of the PKI that took place in Indonesia between 1965 and 1966. Other declassified documents also reveal that a US Embassy employee gave a list of suspected communists to the Indonesian army, and all 5,000 people on the list were rounded up and killed, with many tortured. The casual indifference to political genocide expressed by US government employees is chilling. How about the film Aurelian? There was this user on 4chan called UTV who frequented the sports page and made lots of posts. Just normal posts too, nothing controversial. Anyway, he had a stalker known as the archiver who would follow and comment every single post of UTV. After a while UTV would get sick of these comments and he'd tell him to get lost, but the archiver would just respond to them too. Eventually he started posting his own compilations of the interactions he had with UTV all over the sports page. His final post was him confessing that the people in his life found out about his obsession and he is now being monitored. But before he goes offline he wanted to share his film Aurelian, a 92 page document of everything he had ever made to do with UTV, and he requested that it be for UTV's eyes only. Of course that didn't stop people from opening it. Inside were post compilations of UTV's posts. Posts superimposed onto 3D models. Extensive poems and sonnets. A detailed description of how their life together would be, and how UTV's funeral would pan out. I'm pretty sure there were real life details about UTV in there as well. Upon release of the document, UTV's only response was, and he contacted the police, and went into hiding. The Tuskegee study comes to mind. The study which ran from 1932 to 1972 by the US Public Health Services infected poor African Americans with syphilis to see how the disease naturally evolves. Those who took part in the study thought they were receiving free medical care. Get this, none of those who were infected were treated with penicillin despite its known effectiveness. 
The study stopped when a government employee blew the whistle.